Hello, world, and welcome to my channel. This short video is the unboxing and the testing of a King's 120 watt solar blanket. Uh, I'm putting it on the utility so I can charge up the secondary battery in that. Um, because I use that for charging camera gear and running a 15 litre brass monkey fridge. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe and give you a thumbs up. Cheers. This is it here, the King's 120 watt solar blanket with an MPPT regulator. 4.3 kilos so, unbox it take it out of here and that's it there so in here you get the uh, Anderson plug with the uh, battery clamps you have a sealed Anderson plug extension lead you have the uh, user manual so it should be six panels And the MPPT controller. Don't think it's waterproof. It's the only thing. Yeah, no, definitely not waterproof. Disappointment. But it's made to a dollar, I suppose. The blanket wouldn't be waterproof anyway, but um, it'd have some water resistance to it, so you'd have to hide this somewhere. Anderson plug leads on there. Another position for a light. There's a USB outlet on the front here and indicating lights to what the charge is doing. And that's the details on the side. So what I'll do is I'm going to set it up on the utility and with a through a watt meter and see what it's doing. What meter? Load that's plugged into here. Yeah, new addition is the Anderson plug mounted on the front, wired through a fuse onto the secondary battery, which is also charged by the alternator. Thank you. 
Ron. They're clearly marked solar for these ones, battery for those ones. Can't make a mistake. How long is it? One metre. Two metres, you can tell I'm an electrician. Three metres. Four metres. Five metres. <laughs> Nose at the tip of my hand is a metre. So, that's a setup. A four panel, one, two, three, four panel solar panel. Um, it's through the MPP control. Okay, uh, here we go. So, as I said, I mounted this Anderson plug onto there for quick charging. The MPP controller. The charging light is flashing. Goes this way actually. Charging lights flashing and the two green lights are there. So everything's working on that. The watt meter. It's gonna be really, really hard to see. But it's putting out at the moment and it's probably uh, nearly one o'clock so it's 6.5 amps 13.22 volts at the moment now the battery was fully charged of course but at the moment I have a brass monkey fridge going down to three degrees it's only been on a bit 15 minutes it's on eco mode so I turn it off eco it's on high at the moment that's the finish looks quite good Bypass diodes, four panel fits perfectly on the windscreen. You don't want to be on the paint. Put on the paint and um, it could damage paint. And you can attach it. It's every way you want. But that's how I've got it on the ute. That charges in through this Anderson plug adapter, I said, through a fuse up to the secondary battery. And the secondary battery is also charged by the alternator. I can also charge this now through, um, through a portable alternator if I wanted to, or the solar. And I have plenty of ways to charge it solar.
don't know if I can see it, it's hard to see. 6.20 amps, 13.55 volts. These watt meters are good because they tell you um, watts per uh, kilowatt hours and um, how many watts are being fed into it. Amps, everything else. 50 bucks they are now. And it's marked source and load. So you cannot um, make a mistake about them. Um, I have several different brands at the moment. I use them all the time. It tells me exactly what's going in to the battery and I use them for what's going out of the battery. As I said, that's a, a new MPPT controller. The old ones used to come with a uh, PWM. But at the moment, yeah, it needs, it's got a, a controller there. And I'll just look at this. Shouldn't need much charging, but still putting out six amps, six point six amps, six point oh, six point one amps, roughly. The bag and kings becomes the. Um, the outside part of the controller and there's the Anderson plug it plugs straight into the back of the uh, connection here and if you want to make it a little bit more waterproof you can put all that behind the ball bar all that could be hung up behind the ball bar like that this is waterproof the um, the watt meter or power meter is waterproof and I could just hook it up up there like that, out of sight, not getting wet. And a bit of rain on that wouldn't hurt it. A lot of rain would, but not a, not a bit. Four panels, 120 watts. Looks pretty good quality. Better quality than they used to be. I'm quite liking this, actually, but it fits perfectly on the windscreen. Not on eco mode, it's on ordinary mode. Might even put it down to freezing, see if I can get it to draw some more. Ten, minus ten. Thirteen point five volts roundabout, eighty one point six watts are being fed into that. Six amps are going in. As I said, it's fully charged, should not need any charging, but the power tech meter here tells you what's going in. If the sun is off to an angle. If I'm looking at the car, the sun is over my right shoulder. So it is on an angle, it's not directly on it. And that's probably why the, the watts are down a little bit. 
But yeah, there you have it. The King's 120 watt solar blanket. Okay. This this Anderson plug adapter on the bull bar goes all through here, through here, down through here and up under this secondary battery. I've put these fuses in it so when they blow, you know that the fuse is blown. It's only controlled by a 10 amp fuse because the cable will toy deal a little bit more but being an electrician you need to you need to um, do it properly and I always make sure the fuse will cover the wire size. Well I did try to move it towards the sun didn't make any difference only because the battery's fully charged. If you do like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Cheers.